Hello, hello everyone and welcome. Today we have an inspiration build. So this is the inspiration and this is what I built. Uh, I definitely went a little bit more abundant on the garden because I felt like, you know, it's going to be a cute little cottage. Why not go for overabundance? And also the roof was so tricky. <laughs> like I, this is probably the... I don't know fifth time I started the build because I sort of yeah it was the, I, I started the build like about five different times and I was going to give up but then I thought you know what I can do this I've just got to make it work for the sims because the angle of the roof and the inspiration it was not possible in the sims with the angles that we have like it wasn't at all possible to cr to recreate so I kind of had to do uh, an inspired by <laughs> kind of roof if that makes sense like I'm just like kind of working out different angles uh, this is what's happening at the moment just me working out angles and how I want to do it and uh, sort of the shape of the house and how that's all going to go because you can't see too much from the angle of the inspiration to really know what's going on sort of around the back and what the angles are and that sort of thing so yeah I had to use my best sort of guess or interpretation that would work for the sims because yeah the uh, inspiration that i had just uh the roofing not remotely possible in the sims that i could do anyway that i could work out so i did the best that i could and i actually think it came out super cute so i was really happy with that i love like little cottages and stuff i think they're really sweet and you know, I kind of probably wanted to do more of them <laughs> because they're not something I have done like a lot, a lot of, but I do enjoy creating them. I think it's just because it's kind of like, you know, it's always sort of pretty gardens, which I really like. And uh, it is like a more traditional style home. So you get to play with like spandrels and exterior trims and uh, just, you know, make it quite decorative and pretty. So I'm just doing the stairs on the porch. So if you weren't sure how to do stairs on a porch, by the way, uh, what you need to do is just create like a little triangle uh, coming out. Uh, if the porch is on a diagonal like this one is, uh, you just need to create like a little triangle coming out and then attach the stairs to that triangle. So that's how you kind of get around the fact that the porch is on an angle and you need stairs coming off it. Uh, so I'm just working on uh, some exterior trim at the moment, just deciding what I want to do there and how I want to do it. If I want to have a uh, trim in the middle or what I'm going to do, I do want to have like trim underneath like the roof piece on the house on the little tower and it is actually I do decorate the upstairs tower as well it's not just an empty room it is decorated and functional so it took me a little bit of play testing just to work out uh, the placement of the items so you'll see me uh, when I get to that part but it is going to be decorated and usable so it, it, I did contemplate just making it an empty room but I thought you know what it's a cute little room and you know if I had a house like this I would love to have like a little tower room up the top like it would just fulfill I don't know my childhood fantasies of like living in a tower and having like a little study in a tower and like being a wizard or an enchantress or a powerful magician or something like that <laughs> <laughs> these were my childhood fantasies uh and <laughs> yeah living in my little tower with my spell books and what should we call it anyway it's not uh magically based at all this tower, but it is a cute little study up there and uh yeah i don't, honestly if i had the option in a house now i would want it i would want to have like a cute little study up there and i'd spend so much time up there and you know what I still would not escape my kids up there. My kids would follow me up there and they would like, sit there with their toys and like, sit on the floor behind me and just chatter, chatter, chatter away and play all around me because that's what they do now. <laughs> and they would still do it out there. Uh, it wouldn't be an escapism thing. It would just be like, this is cute. I don't want to live up here kind of thing. Yeah. Anyway, so I've gone for like uh, quite a loose tile on the roof because I sort of felt that really worked with the cottagey vibe the windows I'm going with strange of a windows I actually really like those windows for a traditional style window 
they're quite good for that uh, actually that whole pack is quite good for a traditional style home so if you are doing a traditional style home uh, base game cats and dogs and strangerville are all really good ones for that uh, probably get together is good as well um, maybe a little bit of seasons too so there's some really good uh, traditional vibe packs out there that you can use now i'm just working on the columns so i just initially have like the cottage living columns and then i wanted to extend the columns up like you can see i'm doing here and uh stacking them to be able to do that i've got to have a column that doesn't have like a sticky out bit on the bottom i know using the technical terms the sticky out bit uh actually if you have to stack on top it really interrupts the flow and the look of the columns so having a column like the get together column which is the one that i'm using uh which is just a square plane column uh, is super stackable and uh, really good for things like that where i am using it to outline like corners and stuff and i wanted to just do something a little bit different and outline the corner of the each of the corners of the little tower that we have so that's what I did. I'm using the 4 inch paving there. I really like this for outdoor paving because it's got like the little bits of green on there and it's a mixed uh, material paving as well, which I think is really cool. So that's what I'm using for the paving. And now I'm just working on what I'm going to do with the backyard area. So I'm going to have like a little, rather than having like a full porch uh, or a full back uh, deck or anything like that, I decided I'd just have stairs going down to the to the grass. I felt like that was more... The kind of thing that would happen in a traditional home they just kind of like have a back door going down to the to the yard rather than doing a full-on uh porch out there plus room wise and and angle wise and stuff didn't really work so i didn't do it i just did stairs which is unusual for me and you know sometimes i like to mix it up some so just getting my little roofy doodads on so just deciding on like a chimney because i'm going to put a fireplace in there which i did almost forget as i was uh putting stuff in <laughs> but i did remember just in time i actually the uh the chimney that i end up putting on i uh later change anyway so <laughs> so we'll just skip over that nonsense uh because i yeah i ended up putting uh, like a plain concrete one on uh, for now and then later i changed it to the cottage living the cottage living one because that's the fireplace that i ended up using on the inside so i wanted to match the fireplace to the chimney so now we are going to get our landscape on so landscaping i wanted to keep it pretty simple in the sense that i was going to do a pretty tonal uh yeah tonal um garden so it's all yellow and white and green and that's it that's all I do plus with stones obviously going in there so that's yeah that's all I did with the garden and I'm using a lot of the romantic stuff pack garden stuff because there's some really pretty uh pretty yellows and whites and stuff like that in the options there and the flowers there that you get with that pack and they're really pretty flowers too so I went hard on those <laughs> I went hard on the flowers full stop just so many flowers Oh dear. And uh, what am I using for down there? Oh, just the little base game. Um, it's a little low-lying flowered plant thing that is really pretty. And just using the base game stones as well around there. I actually changed them to the blue shade. So they're not actually the usual grey. Uh, they're a slightly different shade, I think. Is that what I did? I think so. I think that's the build. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. It's rocks. And I'm using the picket fence that came with the backyard stuff pack, I believe. And because I, I love that picket fence, I think it's absolutely pretty and it's very traditional and very cool with a little cottage. I thought absolutely perfect. So just dotting around the tall sort of cypress cypress trees, just using those in the little corners of the of the house on the yard, um, just to decorate those corners. I by the time I sort of uh, worked out the shape of the path the path that I wanted, I realized I had like a little square here and I was like, well, you know what? I'm going to fill these little spaces with things. Uh, I decided I wanted like a little birdhouse and I just wanted to dot some rocks around and some plants and just do that sort of thing. Yes, it is. I did go blue on those rather than the, um, than the usual gray white, just to mix it up some. And because blue is actually a really nice color that works with yellow and that's about it. that's about it for the reasons <laughs> so just dotting some more of the romantic stuff pack uh plants around 
like the little fox gloves and that sort of thing and the lower one and I because I don't know the names of them because <laughs> I'm not a plant person like I love plants in the sims I don't love plants in real life like I, I'm quite happy to look look at them and enjoy them but I'm not uh prepared to grow them and look after them myself <laughs> if that makes sense because I don't really like gardening I'd rather be gaming than gardening that's just me though so I just do like some little more patches of um, the yellow garden stuff around the place so I'm doing it in this corner because I'm going to put a chair in this corner underneath the tree because you know if you're going to have a like a nice big tree like this with all the sort of the boughs hanging down in the leaves well you're going to put a chair under it because obviously that makes sense because you're going to have a you know a chair under the tree so you know you got a little bit of shelter in the shade and you can get out there and enjoy um nature and the peace of nature so i'm just doing uh, some terrain paint to do my path work through the garden i i kept it like i didn't put too much stuff in the backyard like i i did like like quite a lot of plants but i didn't put like a whole lot of furniture or anything like that it's only a one bedroom little cottage and i felt like it was probably going to be like for an older couple or a couple in love or you know it's, it's going to be a couple it's not really going to be like a kid's house uh with kids running around the yard or anything like that i just wanted to keep it you know pretty pretty simple and traditional which is kind of the vibe of the whole house so that's what we did um, so we're just about finished on the yard work, but I've still got some more to do on the house because I thought, well, you know what, I need to have some stuff creeping up the house. And I was initially going to do uh, like the cottage living vines. And then I saw this, which comes with get together, uh, this little vine trellis with flowers all over it. And like it came in a brilliant yellow and I was like, ding, 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 hello, I'm going to decorate the house in this. <laughs> so because it suited like what I had done already perfectly I hadn't actually planned out that I would use this uh initially and then yeah as soon as I saw it I was like yep well sold <laughs> I'm gonna be using this all up the place so that's what I did and I just tried like a tried using them in sort of different little places and stuff not everything worked but yeah for the most part I think it uh, looks quite cool creeping up the side of the house and then I just sort of made it or tried to make it more natural by having like more flowers sort of around the base of it like it, as if it's like sort of grown up from uh from that garden and sort of crept up the house was kind of like the the idea for what I was going for so hopefully that comes across that that was the kind of the idea it's like you know it's an overabundant garden that's like gotten out of control and grown up the side of the house as well that was the vibe that was what I was going for so fingers crossed that sort of works okay oh and I did sort of change to like the slightly fatter um cypress tree that like it's a cheaper one i think uh, just because the thinner one just wasn't quite working in that space but i thought these uh these slightly wider ones did work and i'm just uh, mixing up some of the yellow with a bit of white in the plants and then throwing in uh, some of the rocks as well and then i'm going to do the same over here because i've got the the plants creeping up there i was trying a few things but decided just to stick with what i was doing i think it's better uh, rather than doing like a whole lot of different plants to kind of just stick with the same few plants when you're landscaping depending on what you're doing um but in this instance i think that kind of worked best is just to have like a few styles of plants and then have like little patches of it around the place and nice and abundant and pretty that was the plan so i think we're just about done with the out uh the outside uh, i've just got a little bit to do oh, i put some stuff up on the roof as well because uh cottages sometimes get a little bit overgrown on their roofs you know and oh also the flower planters on the outside i did need to decide on those um there wasn't anything that i absolutely loved like i just wanted something like with a plain white planter block box with a plain white flower but there was just like a plain white flower with a black box and it's like eh, i don't love that but that'll do <laughs> And then I was just kind of working out how how many I'd have along the bottoms when it was like a double window and you know anyway you sort of took around and like how how many windows do I do it on do I do it on the windows with already got flowers on them I mean you know how 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 far do I go and then I decided I'd shrink them down a little bit and uh, keep it keep it just to a few uh, not on every window so that's what I did 
So just uh, fixing this up just so it looks a little bit more natural and then I'm just going to throw uh, some plants on the roof. I actually was going to think about putting like the yellow plants sort of drooping down. It just looked a bit funny so I decided to go with like the little green uh, bushy plant that has like little yellow flowers in it. It comes with base game. I can never remember the name of it so I'm sorry I don't remember the name of it. <laughs> I never ever remember the name of it. I just I use it all the time don't know the name of it and then I just decorated that a little bit with um, some yellow flowers some, uh, some additional yellow flowers as well just to add a little bit more yellow body to it if that makes sense and then in the garden oh I decided to do something more with this little corner so I did like a little stumpy woody thing and just added some more yellow flowers to that and just some more daisies in here as well and I think that's about our outside done. So let's move inside. So we're just going to work on our little tower space. So I used a ladder going up because there's no way I was going to get stairs up there. It just was physically impossible. But uh, yeah, a ladder we can however do. So that's what we did. A little ladder to our tower of goody goodness. So just putting some lights in. I'm using the Cottage Living Lights because they had that cottagey traditional vibe. Not surprisingly, <laughs> because it's cottage living, you know. Um, I was contemplating doing a stone floor, but I kind of felt like because this was more of a wood exterior, um, a wood floor made more sense. So I used the Cats and Dogs plain white flooring, and I've used a light uh, plain base game yellow wallpaper for the time being. Uh, that's just my neutral colour. Then I will change that a little bit later because um, I... I I quite often like to do that. I like to put down a neutral colour and see where that takes me once I furnish. More often than not, I will change it. But sometimes I just I just end up just going with the neutral colour because that works. But yeah, in this case, I used a, a neutral yellow wallpaper and then uh, I will change it later. So this took a little bit of fussing around because I put stuff in and then I had to work out um yeah I had to play test it just to make sure that the sim could climb the ladder and get in and actually use the things so it yeah I, I end up I'm not sure if I show it uh but I end up having to get rid of that uh, big arm chair and just put like a little poof in but then I'm able to fit in an easel so it's like kind of an easel and a desk up there and like a little poof so it's like a little bit of seating and some books and stuff so I think it's a cute little study area and it is functional so that's always nice and a uh, cute little seating so yeah that that seat definitely has to go because I end up not having quite enough room because I have to move that desk over a smidge because of the way that the sim came up the ladder um, it ended up being an issue so yeah I had to move that desk over a smidge uh, which meant that there wasn't quite enough room for that for that chair uh, oh, and it was also floating a little bit so you can see the easel going in there and I'm going to put like a I think a hanging plant there yeah that's right and then just the snowy escape kind of uh, furry faux sheepskin kind of rug so yeah there will be a little bit of changes around in that top area but basically you can sort of see I've been play testing there he's been painting <laughs> And I'm just working on the wallpaper because obviously I wanted to do something a little bit more traditional and decorative. The only real wallpaper that kind of worked for that was from Cottage Living. So I went with what I had as far as Cottage Living goes. So kind of I'm going on the interior. I talked about how uh, blue goes with yellow when I was doing the rocks. And so I was thinking about that for the interior as well. Just mixing yellow and blue uh, with sort of the creams was kind of the colors I was thinking at that point in my head. So we'll see how this evolves. But yeah. That was the, the colours I was going for. And for some reason I decided to start with <laughs> this corner of the room. <laughs> Before even placing down a floor pan. I don't, I don't know. Ah, the things I do. Anyway, uh, that's where I started. <laughs> and now I'm going to start thinking about the floor plan. Because, yeah. Um, I was thinking in that back corner. the this, That corner there. Um, that's going to be the dining area. 
and the kitchen area so i've created the bedroom and bathroom so it's one bedroom one bathroom dining will be on the right kitchen will be just in behind the dining and then living will be facing that uh, main wall that goes towards the bedroom and that's it and of course we've got our little cute little study upstairs but you know if you're a couple in here or just a single in here even i mean do you need anything else no you don't you got everything you need just about anyway so that worked out quite nicely so i'm just working on uh art oh art i wish there was better art i'll probably say this in every episode because i it's like it's a thing for me i just like drives me bananas that the art is so terrible in this game i just like i want some really nice art like just give me some traditional art give me some modern art give me some abstract art you know just give me like five different types of art with maybe five different swatches on each and I would be a happy little camper I would be so happy anyway just doing a little haul area so using the seasons umbrella just the base game shoes and I was initially going to do a hook but there wasn't anything that worked for a traditional uh in that space so I was like eh no hook <laughs> i did a light switch i think instead um okay bathroom i'm using the home chef hustle uh tiling on the bathroom the growing together curtains um i'm doing them halfway down the window and um, that's the thing that i've seen in a few little houses and stuff like cottage houses and that sort of thing it's just to a privacy thing where you kind of have the curtain hanging down halfway down the window rather than covering you know the full window the, yeah just a high whole idea of the whole privacy thing I was initially going to use the high school years uh, mirror but I figured it didn't quite have like the decorative element that a traditional mirror does so I think I went with the tomerang, uh, not the tomerang, the four inch mirror and I'm using the growing together uh, bath shower combo because it's my fave and maybe I should have gone more traditional but I, I just wanted to use that <laughs> so I um I almost used <laughs> I almost used the the other towels but <laughs> I didn't but I did uh, to be fair I the only reason I didn't is because I decided I wanted to bring in like touches of yellow to the room <laughs> that was the only reason um and that particular towel didn't have like a nice yellow in it so I couldn't use it uh I just shrunk down the laundry basket and I'm just putting a few bits and pieces on the back of the the toilet and around the sink so moving on to the bedroom Ugh, this took a little bit of deciding like trying to find yeah a match between uh, a patterned wallpaper and a patterned bed that's a challenge for me um yeah just trying to find something that i felt worked like in terms of tonally um it was always going to be quite a lot on the eyes having like two patterned elements um yeah so it's a bit of an evolution i will kind of like also why does that wallpaper have like an ugly thing through the middle anyway uh so anyway i changed around the bed so i ended up with this blue pattern bed which i thought was really cute and this comes from cottage living so that left me trying to work out what i was going to do for the floor mat so once again i went with the cottage living floor mat i mean you know cottage living when you're building a cottage it's going to make sense to use that quite quite a lot so you know it's a cottage living heavy kind of build i don't think i used any kits in this either um this is a kit free build so other packs are all free free pickings but um yeah no kits in this build i made this kit free um yeah so anyway ended up with the blue wallpaper with the cute little animals and stuff which i don't know there's an argument that that could be like a kid's wallpaper but i don't i don't know i don't think it's i don't look at it and go automatically that's a kid's wallpaper but i think some people might i don't know but it kind of worked with the the mat that i chose and color wise it worked and it didn't end up being too much for the eyes so i'm happy with it i'm i would stick by my choices <laughs> so just using the cottage living vanity and the horse ranch dresser just using the cats and dogs uh chair in the corner and then i needed something on the walls uh so ended up going with just a traditional base game painting on the wall there probably the most expensive one in the game <laughs> probably add like a whole heap to the value of the house uh needed a freestanding mirror um so just went with that plain 
plainish one and I'm using uh, the Brightchester wall hangings. So these are, while they're sort of pictures, uh, they're actually under wall hangings. I don't know. And so I just uh, did like some shelf work uh, with the pictures and put some little bits and pieces underneath as well. Just to, you know, create like a cute little area, I guess. Sort of decorative, uh, yet functional. And uh, gave them like somewhere where they could shove some stuff if they you know, have some little knicks and knickknacks and bits and pieces. You know how sometimes you just collect little knickknacks and bits and pieces and, oh, you just need somewhere to shove them. Because, <laughs> like, every now and then you pull them out and do something with them, but, like, you don't need them most of the time. So most of the time they just need to be stuffed away in a drawer or something. <laughs> I always have those little knickknacks. And then every few years I'll, I'll have a really good clean out and I'll be like, well, why on earth did I keep that? Or, oh yeah, I've still got that. Oh yes, I like that. I'm keeping that for another few years before I have another look at it again. Uh, such is life. Um, yeah, so those are the little cabinets from high school years. So I'm just uh, putting some little bits and pieces, sort of hobby, crafty, makeup, you know, that sort of thing. Just like casual knickknacks and there's a little basket with... Uh, blankets and stuff I think that's from seasons I think and just adding like a little last bit of decoration there so we've got like you know lots of life on the walls so dining uh, I'm going with cottage living again just for the table but I'm using the cats and dogs chairs in there so it's a nice like a full seated dining uh, cottage living mat under there and I can't remember which pack that those flowers are from but I want to say dine out that I put on the windows, that I put on, on the windows, <sighs> the table. Uh, but I'm using the lovely Dine Out uh, big plant, the rubber plant. I love that plant. And I'm just putting um, some hutches on the wall. I will actually change one of these. But for now, that's what I'm doing. Because obviously it's a little dining area and I felt like, you know, there's quite a bit of wall space there that needed to be used. So I'm just thinking about curtains and what I can do there. But I found those, these really nice uh, narrow curtains. Uh, where are they? I think they might be just base game ones. Yeah, they are. And just use those in white. And they worked really nicely on those on those narrow curtains. So I used like in a little bit of an assortment of curtains in this, I guess. But yeah. That's fine. So moving on to the kitchen. So I'm just doing kitchen and dining very much together. There wasn't like a lot of space to do dining anywhere else. So it's not like a huge kitchen or anything. But uh, I'll get rid of that hutch and add an extra counter. And yeah, it's not too bad a size kitchen. I would be happy with that size kitchen. So uh, just changing the colour on the wall. Doing the same as in the bathroom uh, with the Home Chef Hustle wallpaper to the tiles and that led me to change the rug underneath so it ended up just changing it to blue because uh the yellow in the kitchen actually just changed the vibe of the little corner so that it just seemed like a bit too much uh, for the rug with the rug that i had and i am going to just block off the kitchen uh by extending the wall down so i'll move end up moving that rubbish bin anyway after fussing around with that rubbish bin i was like yeah <laughs> i'm just gonna stick that there and extend that wall a little bit and solve the problem that way and that just keeps the sort of the kitchen tucked away which is quite nice and does give us a little bit more space um, when I get to the living section of the room to have like a little bit more room to, to spread out and do my bits and pieces so I'm just adding some clutter because we don't have much in the way of counter space I'm actually going to sorry about the camera work there it was being fussy on me Plus, I'm also not the best at the uh, Sims 3 camera. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I did like a lot of uh, wall clutter rather than counter clutter because um, of the lack of counter space. So that's a little trick that I do when there is a lack of counter space just to actually make sure that I do have some clutter in there and it does look like used and lived, lived in as such is just to use little bits and pieces of clutter on the wall and then uh, throw some stuff up on top of the fridge if you've got the option there. Because once again, it's a little hot spot where you can put some fabulous clutter. I actually couldn't extend it very well in the Sims 3 camera, so I just ended up switching back to Sims 4 camera. Oh, me and Sims 3 camera, it's a battle. But you know, you just, you're used to what you're used to, right? Because I didn't play Sims 3. Um, I'm used to the Sims 4 camera because that's, that's the camera that I learned to build in. So that's just the way of the world. So now we're going to work on the entertainment area. So I decided to use the growing together um, little entertainment table thing. And then I was like, oh no, hang on, I've got to put a, um, a fire in. So 
<laughs> change that around a little bit. I was like, what can I do with this last space? Well, you know, bookshelf, perfect. Just a matter of finding the right bookshelf. So uh, yeah, that's our little lounge area, just all the bits and pieces. And I could put some knickknacks around on the fire. So I did that as well. Um, so we've got the fire pokers and the wood that comes with the werewolves pack and some little bits and pieces to go on the mantelpiece above the fire as well. So nice and cozy. And obviously in a cottage, you want to have a nice cozy fire. And I put that plant up on the top and then um, later I realized it just went through the roof. So <laughs> I think that's been deleted from the build. Anyway, so I uh, just looking for some uh, last bits and pieces and I was looking to put my owls on there, but they weren't quite fitting and I didn't want to fuss around with uh, too many things on there so I was like jar of cookies you fit up there perfect and I'm just going to do the couches I can't actually remember which couches I use but I know they had like cushions and throws on them and they're actually quite nice um which ones is it they were creamy and they had like a nice throw on them but not that one there we go uh oh it's a stuff pack one I think spooky Possibly paranormal. Paranormal, I think. Maybe? No. I don't know. I missed which stuff pack. I could see it was a stuff pack, but I don't know which one. So then uh, just using the, I think, Eco Lifestyle curtains and then just doing those in blue just to add a little bit more vibrancy to the room. I, th I felt like the the plainer uh, cream colored curtains just kind of washed out because the, there's cream... Um, couches it just kind of washed the room out a little bit so the the blue curtains just added a little bit of vibrancy i'm just going to chuck some lights around the place so just using the cottage living uh lights and i just need to put something in the corner here a coffee table and uh plant on that and i think we are about done on the inside and on the outside and done for the build just like that but this is actually a really fun but challenging build for me just because of the roofing and that sort of thing um but you know, once i got past that it was it was all hunky dory so i'm just using the i think i end up using the four inch table i think is it not sure uh and some sort of rug just a base game rug actually just going pretty plain and then i used a little cottage living uh chair over here in the corner because i thought i wanted something like to break um up the plainness again so i just went with the pattern one which i thought was really sweet and threw in a little plant in there in the corner and just like that we're done so i think it's time to take a tour of what we did so this is the exterior here looking lovely in the sunshine with all the yellow it's such a bright sunny kind of pretty little house i like it I could s s totally see little old lady velvet living in a house like that. Oh, no. You know what? Maybe not. Only if I could afford a gardener because there's no flipping way I would be taking care of the garden. <laughs> That's the only thing when I see, like, when I'm looking at um, a house like this is, like... <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to take care of the garden so that's the floor plan there pretty simple and then on to the interior so that's looking down into the lounge so all very cozy with the fire and like that's the hall area looking back into our little sitting area that goes up to our study and that's our living area there going through to our kitchen and the filter I've got on is um, Love Shade Vogue by Hazel Mine if you're wondering why the colors look slightly different i have taken uh the pictures with reshade on that's our bathroom and then going through to our bedroom so i think um i managed to wrangle the the whole um pattern versus pattern versus pattern thing with the rug the bed and the wallpaper so i think that went well and that's our cute little study up the top thanks so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye